Hey everyone, welcome back. It's Ryan going through my cargo trailer, motorcycle hauler, bathroom slash shower setup. So I'm gonna go off camera and just kind of point out some of the main features of it for you. So basically my shower is also my bathroom. I just bought a porta potty that works pretty well for one person that sits in the shower when I'm going down the road and then, or I sit on it in the shower when I need to do my business. Um, or I can move it out. Originally, actually, this was going to be the bathroom area, but I thought, you know what, if I've got a shower box, why do I need a completely separate um, area for pooping? Why don't I just sit it in the shower and sit there and make this the bathroom and shower stall? So when it's time to take a shower, I just obviously move that out. But the nice thing is the way I did this shower box, which is 48 inches high, it's just two walls, right? So let's come around to the backside. I've got the water tank that feeds it there. So water is coming out of a PEX tube right here that's going down into the water tank. I tried to use this flexi tubing, but it curls. So when I jammed it down into the tank, it just curled upward and was sucking air instead of sucking water. So I just got some, you know, a short section of blue PEX tubing, which is somewhat rigid, put it down in there and then connected my tube being to it right here, right? I got a little um, breaker right here for the, uh, for the water pump. So if I don't want it to go off or take any chances, like going down the road while I'm in transit, I can just open the circuit and that cannot run. And this is a outside water feeder tube and this actually fills my 21 gallon tank here. But my point was the water comes in, gets filtered here, goes to the pump, and then this is the out that goes into the shower. So it's just a tube that heads over there towards the hot water heater. So I just took two by fours and built this box and used plywood to cover it with, and then I polyurethaned it. And then I just took some one by trim pieces. And actually this was an experiment, but it came out so well, I like it. So I can actually just kind of sit here and and lean like this. It's the right height for leaning on, which is cool. And I just built a little, basically a, a top to it so I can sit things up there like a coffee cup or whatever when it's not in use. And then up here, I just took cup hooks. All of this is on with cup hooks just like that, which I've used in my tiny house and that actually works really, really well. So the water comes in, it's controlled by this valve. The valve comes to the water inlet on this propane outdoor use only hot water heater, but um, I think they just say outdoor use only to cover their ass legally. I don't think there's any problem using them indoors. And if I'm wrong, um, I have the carbon monoxide detector down there, that guy that I just pointed out in the other video um, to protect me. So this is kind of propane, propane, the heater, and of course propane on the kitchen stove. So that's all f being fed under the, uh, that comes in under the sink in the bullnose and runs across the floor over to here, then up, and that's how this hot water heater gets its propane. So when I'm in the shower, well, I, I don't think I'm gonna go into too much details about the water control, but either on the shower head itself, which is kind of temporarily hooked up there, I can either control the water flow with the button there, or I've got this on off valve. And as you, now nah, I'm not gonna test it, but basically this is holding pressure and so the pump isn't running. But if I were to open this, the pressure would go here up to the hot water heater and the pump would come on and it would try to, you know, and this valve is open to allow the propane. So it would fire up and attempt to heat the water and suddenly I'd be showering. So I'm not gonna do that. This, pull this back again. 
That wooden box looking thing is actually the wheel well protruding through the shower box. So all I did, let's get this out of the way. All I did was basically build the, uh, the shower box around the wheel well. I used FRP panels and sealed it with um, caulking. And then I polyurethane the hell out of that box so it's totally waterproof and then caulked over the top of that. So all the way around that box, there's no gap or way water can get in and it's totally waterproof from polyurethane. So, you know, it makes for like a foot shelf or when I've got my toilet back in the shower, it's, I can just, you know, do that and it holds my TP, right? So that's pretty much the shower setup. I had to buy an extra long shower curtain here. Oh, I did a similar thing, by the way. I, I kind of did a top rail that slopes. So if any water lands on this top rail, it's going to shed in towards the pan. I sealed with brown caulk there in case any water escapes the shower, which actually happened last night. That will not get into the edge and ruin my wood flooring. And I brought the FRP, which is the white panel. I brought the FRP panel out a little bit just because I knew my wet dripping hand might be sticking out of the shower you know, adjusting the temperature controls, the gas controls there and, you know, shit happens. So I just wanted to have the waterproofing extending out a little bit beyond the shower. So that's why that sticks out like that. Again, looks a little awkward, but I think it works. And then on the shower um, box, whatever you want to call it, um, which is behind my desk, right? I'll have an office chair sitting right here so I can actually work when I'm on the road but I'll, you know, tuck the chair in or throw it up on top of the bed when not in use. And I just temporarily, since I don't have a closet cabinet, a wardrobe, I put up a hook. And so I'm hanging my motorcycle jacket there. So that's pretty much the entirety of my plumbing and shower setup. They do have the vent fan right there. I do have lights on dimmers. Um, it looks kind of nice in the morning, actually. I don't know if you can tell. But in the morning when light's coming through that window and backlighting that little beach scene there, that ocean scene, it actually looks kind of realistic, which is kind of cool to wake up to. And of course, if I'm laying in bed, you know, this is kind of what my cargo trailer looks like. This is the setup. So, and again, this will all be covered up by a big cabinet. That whole corner will be cabinetry for clothes and storage, which will be nice. So that's it for the shower setup. I'm going to uh, reset the video. I'll reset the video and start a new one and show you my battery setup, my soul, some of my solar stuff. Not in great detail because I'll probably do another video just exclusively on the solar system, but I'll just kind of lift the bed up and show you the storage underneath and what my batteries look like. That's still a work in progress as well. But anyway, I hope that gave you some ideas for your cargo trailer, moto hauler, conversion, shower, and propane, hot water setup ideas. So I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.